This video is about accessing the calendar within my modules. There are two ways to access it. If you're on your module site, you could access it on this left menu and click calendar there. This will only show you the calendar there, though for this module. If you'd like to see all of the calendar events for all of the modules that you're registered for, you go to dashboard and you click on calendar. It then will show you the month that you are currently in and any calendar event that is, that is created for your courses. You can see on this drop down menu, you can click a specific course one if you'd only like to view events for that course. Your calendar will automatically include all of the due dates for your assessments and you can directly access your assessments by clicking on the calendar event and then you click on go to activity. By clicking on here you automatically are linked to whatever that assessment is so you could automatically link and start your assessments from that uh, in that way. You could add all sorts of activities to this, to this calendar by clicking on New Event. Uh, you can add an event title, the date that I'll be having that group meeting with. Um, and if you click here on Show More, you could add a description. Uh, meet with groups. And we can save a meeting. And you can have that for a specific duration. So for example, I'm planning on having a two hour meeting and then you simply click save. So now you can see these two user created events. I'm going to the dentist on Sunday and I have a group meeting on Wednesday. Some of you might be using a different calendar program already and would like to integrate the two different calendars. The easiest way to do that is by going clicking on export calendar. <clears throat> you could then uh, choose whether you're including all of the events or uh, events related only to certain courses, um, whether you're only looking for the weekly events, um, or let's say in this case I want to look at all of the events for the month of July. Then I click on export. You will see that a file with the extension .ics is exported. That is something that links automatically with your Outlook calendar. So if you open that, it will open your Outlook and it will import your calendar. It will open your calendar. And here you can see, um, this is the group meeting I've highlight, uh, created. There's my dentist appointment. And then I can link it with all of my other events that's already in my calendar. The big thing if you're exporting your calendar is that you have to remember that other events could be added to your calendar. So you will still have to regularly check the calendar, especially in the beginning of the semester where lecturers might still be adding events for you. And that is how you can use your calendar.